All right, we're good. All right, guys. I, so I wouldn't bring you guys up here. Obviously, uh, you know, a couple of uh, Lawrenceburg Tigers uh, laying the wood, winning the uh, Willoughby Supply Big Sticks of the Week. I uh, just wanted to bring you guys up here, talk a little bit about your hit real quick. Obviously, we'll start with you, Nico. Uh, that was last week, uh, filling the uh, the hole. Go, go through a little bit about that play. Um, you know, what? Uh, obviously, did you uh, understand what they were running? Yeah, I understand what they were running that play. So, so tell tell me a little bit about the the hit when you when you stuck him. Did you uh, did you know it was one of those uh, yeah, crunchers? Yeah. Now was the uh, the crowd pretty pumped? Yeah, they're all pretty pumped. Yeah. What was uh, Coach Kanega? Did he uh, slap you on the helmet when he came over to the yeah, side? Yeah, he gave me a high five and stuff. Told did, me good job. Did, did he immediately say that's a Willoughby big stick of the week? <laughs> yeah. All right. All right. <laughs> good answer. All right. Now let's uh, go over to you. Obviously, your uh, your big stick. Um, was uh, not on even the uh, the actual ball carrier, but on the fake, and I, I bet he was uh, wishing that the fake never happened. Go a little bit through that play because I, I mean, on video, it just looked like he swallowed up that ball, uh, a Batesville ball carrier, wasn't it? Yep. Yep. So talk, do a little bit about that play. Yeah. So um, it was a read option, and I saw it, and then I was going to take, I hit him from the handoff, but. I felt the ball in my stomach when I hit him, but he pulled it out just in time. I, I mean, just in time, because, yeah. I mean, you literally swallowed that guy up. Obviously, uh, you were well prepared for it because, uh, obviously, defense coordinator Kevin Worsh probably uh, had you uh, dialed in for uh, for those kind of plays, correct? Yes, he did. All right. Well, hey, now, did you hurt your hand on that play? or? Uh, no, this was later in the game. It was actually on a sack. So. On a sack? Yeah. Okay, so tell, tell the, uh, the viewers at home. Obviously, uh, their, their Tiger Nation is going to be uh, wanting to know, are, are you going to be ready for the playoffs? If not right at the beginning, when when will you think uh, you'll be ready? I'll be back round two. Round two. So there you guys have it. Uh, everybody around here, give a warm round of applause for these guys for their tremendous sticks. All right, guys. All right, let's get the, uh, the South Dearborn Knights up here. All right, guys. Don't be camera shy. Yeah. All right, so uh, you know, we'll start with you, uh, Willoughby. He, he gets a uh, a big stick after our sponsor. Uh, you know, that's a uh, that's a uh, first. First of all, uh, we've never had a Willoughby win it, so it, it had to be pretty uh, pretty cool to win the uh, Willoughby Supply Big Stick of the Week with you being a Willoughby. Yeah, it's pretty ironic. Yeah, yeah is there are they family? I don't think so. Okay, yeah, all right. <laughs> it'd, be, it'd be pretty cool if you're winning your family's own swag. Talk a little bit about your hit. Uh, again, a tremendous stick. Uh, talk a little bit about, uh, you know, the play and uh, how it unfolded. Well, it was a trips, and I saw that number 23 was coming right across the middle. I was like, I better go hit him. Yeah. I mean, got to make the defensive coordinator happy. Yeah. I, I'm so, sure, uh, you know, uh, Coach Kraft was very uh, pumped uh, when you laid the wood. He was very enthused, yeah. Yeah, and now, now does he uh, show a lot of emotions? I think Coach uh, Ballard had uh, told me he's a pretty even-keeled guy. Yeah, when he wants to show emotion, he does, but when he doesn't, he doesn't. It's, it's in between. Okay, all right. Well, a tremendous stick, obviously, and I'm uh, I'm assuming they didn't want to come across the, the middle anymore, catch any more balls. I think they did after that. All right, good deal, good deal. Now let's uh, go over to you. Talk a little bit about your stick, about the, uh, the Greensburg Pirate. Well, if I remember right, the uh, tight end came on a dump down through the middle. Okay. And then I just I hit him. I was playing the middle safety that game. All right, and that, that was a uh, one heck of a hit. Now was uh, Coach Bout, now he's a pretty fiery guy. Uh, when he came to the uh, the sideline, was he uh, was he doing some uh, you know, pounding your chest and stuff? There you go. Did he say it was a Willoughby big stick of the week? No, he told me the day I got it, he practiced at a was. Okay. All right. Well, I tell you, it immediately when I saw it, I was like, there it is. There's the Willoughby big stick. So congratulations. Let's give a warm round of applause for both of these nights. All right. Well, let's bring the uh, the main guest over here. Let's uh, give a warm round of applause for uh, Coach Kaniga. Uh, for the Lawrenceburg Tigers and uh, Coach Ballard for the South Dearborn Knights. Guys, I appreciate uh, you joining us. We get, you're, you're, uh, you're in the big lights now. We've moved up since <laughs> week one. <laughs> yes, yes, we have. Now, we still have speaker issues. 
So we have to click on and click off, if that makes any sense. But, uh, hey, guys, again, I appreciate the both of you guys coming up here. Um, obviously, with a big, big-time game coming up this Friday. Uh, you know, Lawrenceburg, you're coming in at 7-1, uh, and one, South Dearborn 6-2. and two. I have not looked at the record books, but is this a possibly the the most wins between the two teams going into a game like this? Do we know? Who are we playing? Oh, and so it begins. No, I have no idea. I don't, I'll tell you what. I don't. Um, no, I'll tell you what. I know. I mean, Larkspur's been. I mean, their record's been about about the same about the same. every year, and um, so I, I couldn't tell you. No, I, I really don't pay attention. Like, like I'm just saying, even through the the years, even before you guys were coaches, I I got to be hard pressed between two schools having 13 wins. That's a uh, obviously tremendous records. Uh, I wanted to bring you guys on, not only to talk about the game, but uh, I haven't seen you guys for quite a few weeks. Uh, we'll start with you, Coach Kaniga. Uh Talk a little bit about your senior class. Obviously, um, you know, they've been, uh, you know, very well decorated. They've won a lot of games. How many seniors do you have in your, uh, your class? And uh, talk a little bit about how special they are. This year we have 14 seniors, and you're right. Uh, a lot of those uh, gentlemen have played a lot of football. Uh, it starts with our quarterback, Garrett Yoon, uh, who's been a starter since day one, since he stepped in uh, inside LHS. And, uh, you know, it's no secret our offense is built around him, but uh, he has a great crew around him as well. Uh, Ashton Craig up front, um, who's gotten a lot of, uh, you know, awards and accolades. And I guess when you uh, sign with the University of Notre Dame, that's uh, comes with yep, the territory absolutely. but uh, you know when we start looking at you got a Jace Bohan uh, you got an Aiden Gilmore and, and then on, on top of that you know you got Daya Patel and uh, it's kind of hard when you sit when you're on yeah, stage trying yeah, to think of all yeah. 13 I know I'm leaving some out um, but you got a Luke Pierce and all these guys are doing a great job and, and they're a key part um, some on both sides of the football for us uh, you got Jackson Goodall, who moved in and is doing a great job for us as well um, at right tackle. And, you know, it's, it's a good group. And uh, they're in the locker room. They're good locker room guys. That They take care of business in there. Uh, but they all get along. And, and, you know, they've been a joy to coach. And, uh, you know, we've talked to them about every opportunity that you get together is, is just a great opportunity. Um, but also when you're sitting there as a freshman, you keep thinking about, man, I have a lot of time left. Mm -hmm. And we brought that up this week to our seniors. It's You're guaranteed two more games and how quick that goes. But uh, I'm really proud of our seniors. Uh, they've done a lot for our program. Uh, they've won back-to-back -back sectionals. Uh, hopefully can uh, put that, that third one on their resume this year in a few weeks. But uh, they've meant a lot to our program. They're good in the classroom. Uh, they're good in the community. And uh, they're good for Tiger football. And uh, it, it's a special group, and you know, as every football coach would tell you, health uh, graduation is a healthy thing. Yeah. Uh, I don't know if we're looking forward to that <laughs> yet, but uh, you know, we got some guys in the wings, and I think uh, the way that these guys have carried themselves uh, in all those places that I've listed, uh, they've been great for our younger guys, and hopefully, our guys can build off of that uh, once this senior class leaves. But a great group of kids. Uh, you know, they're going to do great things after they leave Lawrenceburg High School, and uh, they've, they've definitely helped build uh, the tradition uh, for the Tigers. Absolutely, absolutely indeed. And then uh, now, Coach Ballard, let's talk about uh, how many seniors do you have uh, on your team and uh, talk a little bit about how special they are. Well, this year we have 17 seniors um, down South Dearborn. And, um, you know, just to echo what uh, Coach Kaniga said, um, your, your seniors are the ones who carry you. Um, you know, they've been part of our program. Um, all of our guys have been our four-year players or four-year uh, in the program. Um, so you know they're 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 starting. Obviously, it's my seventh year, so we're we're still still trying to incorporate that um, what it's all about to uh, be a knight, to uh, play the game the right way, do things the right way. And um, you know our motto this year is be, is be the change. And um, this group of seniors has really stepped up. I mean they've um, you know they've taken they've taken us to. Uh, places we weren't for sure you know I mean one time we had the fourth leading rusher in the state um that's pretty special yep. you know um you know and, I, and it's it's hard because you know I know Lawrenceburg's got some dudes down there and 
you know, and and I know Ryan does a hell of a job, um, and I'm trying to get people in Indianapolis to know who we are. Yep. I mean, we play football down here too, yep. and you know, and you know, getting uh, C.J. Rogers has gotten some um, some recognition out there, and it and it's and it's because of you know our seniors and the guys that have bought into the program and and are doing things the right way. You know, um, we got a couple seniors on the, on the offensive line this year that have made you know paved way. Evan Meek, uh, Alex Kemper, two year starters. Um, you know, again C.J. Um, second year second year in the backfield so you know he's really coming along reese willoughby out there uh, with isaiah Otto and our um receiving core it's just done a uh done a fantastic job and then you know as you and i've talked mike before you know i know uh lawrenceburg builds their uh offense around you um we build our defense you know around sean somer and landon herzer and those guys that uh you know they've just been with you for been three four year players somers a four a three-year starter um and so we try to build build around those guys, you know, the guys that are doing it the right way. Um, again, in the same in, in the classroom, in the community, just just great kids, and you know that's what we want. Um, you know, it's it's not not bad to have some some angry birds every once in a while, but um, we want great kids. And I feel like you know this senior class is really uh, you know Drew leading our secondary there. Um, you know, unfortunately had a uh, season-ending injury last year, game one as a junior. Um, to show the determination, guts that he did through the offseason to build himself back up. I mean, you would never even know he missed a beat. So it's guys like that that you uh, that you rely on. Well, I, I can echo that. I know both of your guys' teams do the things uh, the right way, and it's a lot of fun for the community to watch. Uh, let's talk a little bit about this game coming up. Obviously, uh, you know, just touch base with last year's game. Game of the year uh, in in my eyes that I covered. Uh, I mean, it was just nip and tuck the whole way. Uh, and you know, obviously, uh, you know, Riverboat ran got his nickname by uh, going for two, a penalty, and then you uh, double down and go for it again, convert. Uh, now, Larchburg then uh, answered the uh, answered that bell uh, with a drive of their own to take the lead there uh, late in the game. So tremendous game. I, I I'm, I'm anticipating another nip-and-tuck hard-fought game uh tell me a little bit uh how excited uh, what does this mean uh, not only to you uh coaches but to your kids because uh, obviously this is uh the game you guys typically circle on your calendar yeah there's there's no doubt it's a big game and, and for us uh you know no disrespect to rushville and, and connorsville uh but for us uh you know when we get to that part of the season uh our focus is on South Dearborn. Uh, we know each year uh, that that's going to be a great game. Their kids are going to come ready to play. And it's not coach talk. Uh, for the most part, you can throw the records out the door. Um, you know, th I know there's been games where, you know, we've gone on top early and, you know, it hasn't been much of a game. But more so than not, it's been a competitive game. And, uh, you know, since – Coach Rand's taken over there. You can definitely see the change in the mentality. Um, and not just uh, their football program, but, but all of their programs. Um, you know, I know they got Night Nation behind them. And, and they're going to they're gonna pack our stands from the AD side. I hope they pack the stands. I was going to say, AD bring in a lot of money excited, yeah. And buy a lot of pop and That's right. popcorn and all that <laughs> other stuff. But, uh, you know, it, it, it's a great game. It's good for the communities. Uh, so it's kind of unique from our standpoint. You start the season with East Central, uh, who's one county school, and then you end the season um, with South Dearborn. Uh, looking ahead, uh, you know, South Dearborn may drop down to uh, 3A. I so that's probably, of that. <laughs> you know, there might be some conversations. I don't know. You know, I look at Brownstown Central and Scottsburg. They play each other week nine, and then they're going to turn around and play each other week one of the sectional. Yep. That's not something I want to be, yeah, <laughs> be a part be of. A part of um, but those are other talks later down the road once we see what happens. But, you know, South Durham has a great team. Uh, you know, they get off the ball on offense. Uh, some of their, you know, checks at the line where they're doing different things, spreading the receivers out, uh, finding different ways uh, to get the ball to their running back. Uh, every screen possible in the book. Um, and then, as you know, uh, Rand's going to have something up his sleeve, whether it's a legal formation or something he always to, does. To, to get that <laughs> trick playoff. 
It's, it's only uh, illegal if you get caught. That's true. You standing over on the yeah. sidelines screaming, it don't South matter. South never gets caught, but Lawrenceburg, we always get caught. But, uh, no, I think it's going to be a great game. Hopefully the uh, the weather, uh, you know, can hold off for us. Yep. But uh, we're looking for a great environment. We're looking for a great test and, you know, throw the records out the door. Whether, you know, I remember we were 5-5 five and five maybe one year going down there. Um, and, you know, it goes into overtime. And then last year they have us on the ropes, and we got to go down on a last-minute, two-minute drive uh, and score, you know, close to the end of the buzzer. But uh, their kids always play hard. It's always a good contest, and uh, we're looking forward to the same this Friday night. It's going to be a battle and a slugfest, and that's what you expect between Lawrenceburg and South Denver. Absolutely. And for the uh, the people here and uh, the people going to watch us at home, I, I will tell you that these two spend about 30 minutes with the refs going over what to watch for for the others uh you know they they, they uh you know link them into uh you know some of the stuff that may go on but uh, talk a little bit about uh the game uh from your perspective uh, coach ballard and uh you know what it means uh obviously uh for your uh, for you yourself and your team well as i uh, was talking earlier uh or yesterday to uh, another reporter just about the game and whatnot you know, this is like Ryan said, you know, throw the records out, um, you know, for the most part. Uh, these guys are five minutes down the road. They work, our kids work, what I mean is our, our kids are close to each other. Hell, some of our kids live in Lawrenceburg community. Some of their kids live in South Denver community. So, you know, it's it's uh, it's it's a fun game to be part of, um, you know, and it's, it's, it's always, it's always fun. I mean, it's a, you know, it's a battle. It's a, you know. Ryan and I, we always tease each other. It's like, you know, we talk 164 or 364 days a year. At 365, we're, you know, we, we, we laugh, and laugh at each other and we talk to each other, but uh, there's a lot of gamesmanship that, you know, we're, we're filling each other out. And it's, and it's a lot of fun, you know. Like I said, it's, a, you know, the kids have fun. The kids are, are, are excited uh, about the opportunity. Um, you know, and as, as Ryan indicated with Rushville and Connersville, and, you know, this absolutely means completely no disrespect because Ryan knows my feelings. But this game doesn't define our season, you know, and I know it doesn't define their season. You know, we're going to go on the following week and we're going to fight for a, uh, a 4A title sectional and they're going to fight for a 3A sectional. And I, I know that they're going to be rooting for us and we're going to be rooting for them. So any time a Deerburg County school that are so close, no no disrespect for those guys up north, but, uh, you know, East Central can go play with Mooresville. Um, we don't care about them. But we're, uh, you know, we're, we're going we're gonna to battle in the sectional after the next week and um, you got a pick for that game, Ryan? <laughs> Jennings County. <laughs> um, but no, that'll be an interesting game. We can talk about that in a couple weeks. But uh, but no, like, you know it is. It's 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 a lot of fun. I mean, you know, uh, Ryan likes likes to tease about uh, different stuff. But uh, you know, I think he'll have a few tricks up his sleeve as well. Um, we just got done. We just left the JV game, and I saw I had a notepad, and I kept on writing stuff down. Like, no wonder he wanted to play us uh, tonight. But, uh, but no, a lot of fun. And um, like I said, you know, the kids are excited. Um, last year's game was 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 awesome. Um, you know, we we go ahead uh, eight seven, and then um, they come back in that drive. And matter of fact, they, I got a couple defensive guys here. And, uh, they correct me if I'm wrong, but I think we uh, we watched that film today after school. Oh, so you okay. know, we we learned from some mistakes. And, All right. Um, and you know, it's like I said, it's uh, it's good time. It's going to be a good atmosphere. I just hope the weather holds off. Uh, now tell me this. I, I know uh, you guys are both uh, you know diving into the videos. I know uh, last year I believe that uh, you saw some tells uh, that some people were doing. Did you see anything on the videos for this year? I just want to know how Ryan keeps his figure on the film. Yeah, all right. He looks, pretty, he looks good on this. I mean, that's all I'm watching. Yeah, I just look he's, he's, well, I tried to tell you, you wear black instead of that yeah, white. There is. <laughs> you wear that white. I have like worn white right all year. Hey, I, I will ask you this. Uh, you know, uh, Coach Kinnig, I know, uh, you know, Coach Bauer likes his boys to uh, come out to the smoke, and I know he had mentioned it today off, uh, off camera here that uh, – he anticipates maybe you letting him uh, have his boys run through smoke down in uh, the pit. Well, <laughs> you know the you thing got two of them down there. You said you told me the other night that one of those were for us. 
You know the thing when you go down to South Dearborn, they they base they win every pregame. <laughs> they are undefeated. That that's impressive. That it is. You know they got the biggest blow up helmet in the state. Yep. And then I don't know how many smoke or fire hydrant. What what do you got down there? Smoke guns. Those. I don't know what they are, but it's either. impressive. Um, but you know, and that goes back to what I was talking about earlier with Coach, like just trying to create that excitement for his program. I mean, you know, you can tell what they've done since he's taken over there. Yep. And, uh, you know, football's a hard sport. And you got to try to get kids to play. And, man, it, you got to want them to be excited about it. Now, the only thing Rand has going against him is their soccer team won two sectional championships <laughs> this week. Uh, they might be trying to go play soccer here That's soon if, <laughs> if he don't get a hold of them. I ain't no doubt. <laughs> You're going to be uh, putting A.D. Walston in a tough spot. So. Yes, he's going to start playing more flag football down there. There you go. There you go. Well, guys, I know, uh, just real quick, um, I do also want to touch, obviously, this game, and I did want to touch on this. It, it is a good uh, game for both you guys uh, leading into the sectional. It's a good test uh, for both your teams. Obviously, Dearborn County is always tough as nails, uh, all three schools. So it is a good uh, challenge for you guys. Uh, to you know, kind of see where you guys are at getting ready to go into the sectional. So I know uh, everybody in the county is looking forward to it. Um, just want to talk a little bit too. Obviously, we just had a, uh, a sectional drawing, uh, and uh, Larchburg, uh, you got uh, Franklin County out of the uh, the gate. So uh, how do you feel about your draw? And uh, is, is the first game at home? Yeah, we we like our draw. Um, you know, when when you break our sectional down. Uh, you can't look past Brownstown Central, uh, and obviously they're on the top of the bracket, uh, so so that's good. And, and then you look at the bottom of the bracket where you know you got a Greensburg who we didn't play, and then they're playing Charlestown who just lost their quarterback uh, to a collarbone injury last week. It was probably about 90% of their offense, and then they also got a, a nice tackle who was the number one tackle in the country uh, at one point. Uh, decided to go to Kentucky for some unknown reason. But uh, that's his choice, and it'll probably work out for him. But, no, we like our draw. Uh, it's Franklin County. It will be at home. Um, and, you know, you got to take care of business week, uh, week one in the tournament. And uh, they're going to be a different team. Uh, I know they're messing around with some quarterback changes. And then uh, both of our running backs now uh, are healthy. So, you know, we're, we're going to have to play well. And, and you do have to play well to win a sectional. So uh, we're excited. Uh, to get after it, you know, after we uh, see what happens this Friday, you know, we got South Durban first, so we're not looking too far ahead because we can't uh, take care of business this Friday and then, uh, you know, get to work on Franklin County. The good news is is that we have all their film. Um, we don't have to go far to, to, to game plan, and you already have a game plan that you can go back and modify um, from week four or week five. Um, and, you know, our D-line will need to play well. They run the ball well. Uh, one senior that I did forget was, uh, not forget, but just Micah Foster. Um, you know, he's a, he's a guy for us. Um, but looking forward to it. It's at home. And then we'll see what happens there if we can take care of business week one in the tournament. Well, I know you're not looking too far ahead, but the AD uh, side of things. Tell, tell the people at home when they can start getting those tickets for uh, first round of the section. Man, uh, <laughs> we're going to get those things out as fast as we can. To, uh, you know, uh, we probably will we can do a pre-sale for that. Um, but uh, if not, you get them out the gate. We're not a school that's went to uh, digital yet. Okay. Um, so we're still old school, and uh, a lot of schools are. But, uh, you know, we'll, we'll have that conversation and get that out to all of our Tiger fans here after this week. We got senior night this week, so... Uh, we're still busy over there. We're on fall break, but uh, it's funny. I'm still in the office grinding and working. Away, but that's what it's about, enjoying it, and uh, we'll get that out as soon as possible. So on the flip side here, Coach Ballard, I, when I saw your draw, I was very excited uh, for you guys to uh, get the chance because I, I in uh, heart of hearts, uh, believe Madison has no clue what they're in store for because, uh, uh, you know, since uh, a couple weeks in the season, you've made a quarterback change. And that offense uh, has been clicking on, uh, you know, th in through the air and on the ground. Uh, talk a little bit about how excited you and your uh, team is uh, uh, to get a face uh, Madison again. Yeah, Mike, I think, like you said, um, you know, we're happy with our draw. Um, you know, it's, uh, I'd like to say that there's, you know, uh, 
you can look, overlook a couple teams, but in this game, you can't overlook anybody. Um, you know, even Jennings County, um, unfortunately, another kind of stuck down there with the dogs. But uh, you got uh, Hell Jennings County beat Madison, and Madison beat us. So you know they're 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 in that mix there. But um, you know, you're right. Uh, like I said, you know, like Ryan said, we know we got this week to take care of. We're not even thinking about Madison, to be honest with you. Um, but I can tell you, Saturday morning. Um, it'll be nothing but Madison, and um, you're right. We're um, billboard material or not, I can tell you we're coming after them because we're pissed. Yeah. You know, we gave up three three points there at the end of the game, um, and that you know it, that, that helps us. We we feel like we should be seven and one as well. Um, but you know, you get a blemish on there, you gotta you gotta keep battling and keep fighting the next week, and we did. And um, but I can tell you, there was one team we wanted. And it was Madison, and we got them. So, no, and figured. the fact that we're going down there is even better. Yep. Um, they got a nice, they got a nice facility. Um, it's not that far to drive. Um, so, and you know, hey, it's no secret, Morrisville and East Central. You know, they're the they're the, the dudes right now because they're at the top. But uh, they're down at the bottom. Let them play with each other down well, there for a couple that, weeks. Right and, uh, but you know, uh, real quick on this game, and maybe you know, maybe Ryan, we can get the Roop and Rumsey show behind this. Ryan and I have been talking for probably the last two or three years about getting a rivalry game, some kind of traveling trophy. We talked about Battle of the Barge, Battle of the River, something, and coming in and like on a Monday or Tuesday night, having a big co- uh, dinner with captains and both teams and kids talk. And there you we, go. We, 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 we've talked about it. I yep. mean, it's. Uh, but we've never had anybody that could get behind it. Hey, maybe, you think maybe. So really, guy. he's asking for a sponsor. I'm asking for a sponsor. <laughs> so you think I'm the guy to do well? Right here, live. You, I, I will tell you this. I'm familiar with uh, rivalries with uh, last year's game. Uh, you know, Athletic Director Walston puts me in the press box and, uh, for these cold we games. We need a bigger press box. <laughs> <about that. laughs> but I will tell you this. So uh, when Riverboat ran, uh, doubled down and, uh, you know, went for two after the penalty again, I, uh, I blurted out Riverboat Rand and uh, Eagle Country, uh, you know, decided to steal my line from the radio. He said, Riverboat Rand's at it again. I said, what's going on? So there's a little rivalry between us and uh, Eagle right now. Oh, well, like I said, you, uh, <laughs> the first person who has that blank check will uh, be the sponsor. We'll, we'll but, see what we No, can. I'm being serious. We need to, we, it's something that we've talked about. It's something I think would be fun. I think the kids would enjoy it. I think, I think you know, the community I think would, would get beyond. The community yep. would, be, it would be fun. Um, we got the uh, Ryan got Ryan's actually the one who approached me. I said the North Decatur and South Decatur, I think, do something like that. But I think it'd be kind of cool. Yeah, you cool. know, a little different county. Yeah, uh, kind of like the uh, the IU Purdue game, and uh, yeah. you know, what, what did they give out the old oaken bucket? Is that, that's that the, what, uh, yeah. yeah, we'll do we'll do something of that nature. I'll see what I can uh, come up with. We so, thought maybe a big gambling chip, but that probably wasn't. That right. that probably be that a frowned <laughs> upon. No gambling chip, no, no whiskey barrels. No, no, no. We'll we'll think of something fun, but. Uh, Guys, again, uh, thank you for coming out. Uh, real quick, uh, prediction. I, I do want a prediction. I know coaches don't Get give predictions, but uh, the uh, I am going to put both of you on the spot. I, I, I expect both of you guys to pick your teams to win, but give me a uh, score. A score. This is bulletin board material for each of you. I'll zero, you, zero. That's exactly what I'm <laughs> Well said, well said. Well, both guys, of us would probably say, as long as you win by one, that, that's all that matters. That's and, right. You know, both sides are going to play hard, and both teams uh, have great kids, and uh, it, it's going to be a great contest, and it's a rivalry game. So It, it should be a uh, lot of fun. It should I, be a lot of fun. And, and I'm expecting some tricks up each of your sleeves. I know uh, I'm sure you guys have been running a few plays late after practice to uh, to dial in, so it should be, uh, should be a good time. At the JV game, they're say. coming out in formation. Rand says Jeez. they don't even have, and they're running <laughs> trick plays. I said they just showed us that. That that's awesome. Yeah, I'm it's sitting great. There, literally, we were talking about JV coaches, and yeah, sometimes they get a little excited. And, and we literally, I, we come out, and I looked at Ryan. I go, I have no idea what that formation even is. <laughs> and I'm dead serious. I've yeah. never seen it. And next thing I know, we run a trick play, and I'm like, when in the hell did they do that? The, <laughs> Not just a trick play. A trick play that went for six points. All right. Well, you, you left that out. <laughs> well, I'll tell you this. I'm expecting a, uh, a fake punt. I know we uh, saw that last year. And, uh, you know, I'm expecting to see some some uh, tricks up your guys' sleeve. But, uh, guys, again, thank you for uh, joining us. And uh, 
guys, uh, thank you for coming out and uh, you know checking us out. But go down there to the pit, get these ticket sales up for Larchburg. But uh, before we leave, I know I've got two more guys to come up. Uh, one uh, for the Proof 124 Players of the Week, we've got uh, you know Gilmore and uh, Brotherton. Where are they at? Did they leave? Nope. They're back. Oh, they're, they're out here. Hey, All thank right. you very much. Hey, Go thanks, Tigers. Guys. Appreciate it, guys. Thanks, Thank man. you. Appreciate it. Thank you. All right. So, real quick, we wanted to bring you guys up. Uh, take a seat there. Want to just uh, pull on your guys' uh, ears for two uh, seconds. Obviously, uh, you guys have been, uh, you know, continuing the ball uh, all year long. But uh, last week for you, uh, you, uh, I think you had about a buck fifty with three tutties. Is that right? For Rushville. Yeah. Yeah. All right, well, outstanding. You've been doing it uh, on both sides of the ball, uh, you know, for, uh, you know, I know last year when I was covering you and uh, this year again. And obviously, uh, you, if I remember right, you started really heating up uh, during playoff time. So I know you're probably excited. Uh, you know, is this your senior year? Yes, it is. All right, so I know that uh, you want to bring some more uh, hardware home. Do you not? All right. Well, that's. I know we're excited. Uh, the R and R show is excited to see you, uh, Aiden, because uh, you've been uh, you don't like I said been doing it on both sides of the ball, and you make those uh, high point catches me look way easy. So I expect uh, some more great things out of you. But congratulations, uh, Icky. Did you give him uh, his? Uh, I did not. Award and. Uh, Here you are, sir. Congratulations. Yeah. All right. Give him his trophy. Give a warm round of applause for uh, Aiden Gilmore. For the player of the week are, and uh the guy to the right of me we, i i was uh going to be saying if i didn't get a trojan up here so uh obviously uh we got I, i've nicknamed this guy the swiss army knife he continually gets it done uh through the air and on the ground uh talk a little bit about uh you know obviously you, your year has kind of been kind of neat to watch uh, at the beginning of the year, you, you were making some plays, but as the year went on, I see the coaches trying to find ways to get you the ball more and more. You have to be uh, pretty excited to be able to help your team in, the, in the, uh, all the ways that you do. Uh, yeah, it's definitely a lot better to show what I can do. Yeah, get, you know, get your little click on there. Uh, there you go. <laughs> yeah, it's great to help the team out. Yeah, you're very soft-spoken, aren't you? I, I like that. I, I, just a silent killer. I like it. So uh, talk a little bit about, uh, obviously, um, you know, when I had covered you, uh, what, what week was that uh, we talked on uh, the sidelines there after the game? Uh, that was South Dearborn. South Dearborn. You really, uh, you did, you really broke out, in my eyes, did a tremendous job that game. But then even last week, uh, you even uh, you did uh, some special things. How many touchdowns did you score uh, against Garrett? Was there uh, any uh, passing and running? I had two passing and one rushing. All right, one rushing. But uh, so talk a little bit about uh, East Central's draw. I don't have East Central's coach here, uh, but I, I did want to touch base on your guys' sectional draw. Uh, who do we have opening up? We have Greenwood. Greenwood is that that is at home, is it not? Yeah, it is. All right, and then uh, obviously number uh, the second week of everything plays out as it should. You guys get another crack at Mooresville. And once again, we go to Mooresville. So uh, how excited, I know uh, you're, you're a sophomore, but how excited are you uh, and your teammates to get another chance at uh, you know, taking it to Mooresville? Uh, we're pretty excited. We're feeling pretty confident this year, passing the ball and running the ball. Absolutely, absolutely. Well, guys, appreciate you guys coming here to uh, accept you guys as Player of the Week. Let's give a warm round of applause for these guys. Uh, for being nominated uh, the Proof 124 Players of the Week. And all right, guys, thank you for uh, everybody joining us today. We will see you guys down at the pit uh, for uh, this Friday's big game between South Dearborn and Larchburg, and then we will be back here next Monday at uh, 730. Thanks, guys.